Thanks for tuning in. This is The Sweet Cyclist. Today we're going to be looking at the Topeak Tubi Booster Tubeless Tire Inflation System. So with the rise of tubeless tires on the market and both road bikes and mountain bikes, there's a lot more accessories aimed at making tubeless tire installation and repair easier. What we're looking at here is Topeak's Tubi Booster, and this is designed to make installation a lot easier by providing you a high flow boost of air when you want to install a tire to make sure the beads actually fall in place. It's a really cool idea and it's essentially a portable air canister that you can pump up with the standard pump. Uh, packaging wise, really simple. You have their iconic yellow and white graphics here. Really high quality graphic here that shows the canister itself. It's fairly compact as well as, as you can see from the size of the box. You have all the instructions here as well as the fact that it's two in one with the fact that you can use the top for a CO2 inflator. I'll go ahead and take it out of the packaging and we can review the specs. It has a 200 PSI maximum limit and retails for $70. It's aluminum and it's a thousand cc capacity of air. And what's cool about this is uh, Topeak and a lot of other brands have pumps that combine this kind of feature for a high flow boost of air. With the Tubi Booster, you actually can use whatever pump you want and then use this on the side. So you can even pump this at home and then take it to a race site and pop up in, and pump up your air. So it's a nice portable solution to it. In the box, we have that uh, two-in-one portion. This is the lid. That'll connect here to allow this to be inflated as well as allow you to use this as a CO2 inflator. Then we have the actual Tubi Booster uh, canister. This is a really nice piece of uh, machined aluminum. Really nice glossy finish with Topeak on here. Uh, warnings on here as well as this is a uh, compressed air. You also find the instruction manual here, which is definitely recommend to look at, especially for this kind of device. So now let's take a look at the weight of the Tubi Booster. First, we'll look at the CO2 head, which you can obviously use with your own CO2 canisters. Comes in at 32 grams. Then we have the Tubi Booster canister itself. And that comes in at 844 grams. So fairly heavy, but because it's aluminum, it's actually not as heavy as you would think, given the size. Now let's take a closer look at the fin finish of the Topeak Tubi Booster. Basically it consists of two parts. You have the canister itself and then the inflator portion. The canister is a really nice aluminum. It's fairly light given the size and it easily fits in a backpack or in the trunk of your car if you have a race event. And it really replaces the need for having an air compressor which most people don't have in their house. Now the compressor, the uh, tank portion, pretty simple. Standard tank, it's a 1,000 cc capacity with up to 200 PSI limit. Then you have the inflator, and this is why they refer to it as a two-in-one. You can use this inflator with any standard CO2 canister, so it's a two-in-one device, essentially. Off camera, I actually inflated this a little bit, just to show you. So this is the inflator part of the Tubi Booster. This is what you attach to your bike, and you can see it's a high flow of air that'll instantly empty the canister. Now that's, this is compatible with both Presta and Schrader valves. The next item you have on here is the dust cap. So this is what's covering up and protecting the inflation portion. So you attach a standard bicycle pump to this, not an air compressor, and pump this up to a maximum 200 PSI. So really easy to use and then with the dust cap on there, it protects it. Now with it completely empty, we'll go ahead and remove the inflator portion. Now obviously having compressed air, you do have to use caution so you don't, you don't want to empty this when it's uh, at 200 PSI as it can be dangerous. If we take this off, you have this nice machined inflator portion. So as I mentioned, this will work with any standard CO2 canister and you can reuse this uh, for the CO2 canister and then pop in and put it on your uh, Tubi booster when you want to install a tire. So with the Tubi Booster, you just take off the dirt cap, attach a standard pump, and we're going to inflate this up to the 160 PSI from the pump. And what's great about the Tubi Booster, it's a portable solution. So let's go ahead and inflate this. Now that I'm up to pressure, I simply remove the pump head, replace the dust cap, and I'm ready to go. So to make the installation a little bit easier, I'm going to take a little sponge with soapy water, run it along the rim, 
and then that should help the bead pop into place a little bit easier. Now we'll take the 2B booster. I've taken off the core as well, just to make it a little bit easier. And I'm gonna pop it on here and hopefully the bead will pop in place. So you heard that. Now I'll remove it. And it looks like it actually popped in. Now let's go over the pros and cons for the 2B Booster. What I really like about it is the premium build quality. The aluminum finish really feels well done and it looks uh, really premium. I also like the fact that the inflator head can be used with CO2 canisters, so you get a two-in-one use with it. Also, I really like the fact that it works with any bike pump, so if you have a bike pump you already like, you don't have to replace that. You can use that in conjunction with the 2B Booster. And the 2B Booster is also a portable solution, so you could take this to any event, and as long as somebody has a bike pump, uh, it's compatible. Some of the cons is the fact that it's quite expensive at $70. You're starting to approach the cheap air compressor, so if you do a lot of installs, I would recommend looking at a home air compressor solution. Also, it's a little awkward to hold when you're inflating it. Now, they do sell a 2B Booster X version of this that has a flexible uh, extension head. However, that costs a little bit more money. Also, I'm a little surprised to see no integrated pressure gauge. So you do have to attach the bike pump to see what the pressure is. Taking everything into account, I would give the 2B Booster an 8.5 out of 10. I think it's a really clever portable solution for tubeless tire installation. Thanks for watching this review. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the content. You can also see more content from us on our website at thesweetcyclist.com as well as follow us on Instagram at thesweetcyclist. This is The Sweet Cyclist reminding you to enjoy the ride.